Tonight, suburban restaurant owners and their employees are grappling with devastating news. A surge in COVID-19 cases forcing new rules. No indoor dining allowed. Any restaurants that were hanging or even doing well are probably going to really suffer. That's the owner of Aliano's restaurant in East Dundee, now facing a grim future after Governor J.B. Pritzker announced tightened restrictions in Kane, Will, Kankakee, and DuPage counties, including no indoor service for bars and restaurants starting this Friday. Like we just started to get back on our feet, so obviously today's news is definitely a blow for us um, because we obviously can't have a patio. It's too cold at this point. For us to take that blow once more and to, you know, realize that, you know, now I have to readjust what I'm going to be doing from day to day, like whether or not I'm going to have a job, what I'm going to be doing. With the possibility of an indoor dining shutdown looming in the city of Chicago, CBS2 is learning some restaurant workers feel they're better off staying on unemployment than going back to work. CBS2's Tara Molina says restaurants across the city are on edge. Go back to work and deal with the possible indoor dining shutdown like we're seeing across the state or stay on unemployment. It's a question we're told our local restaurant workers are asking themselves as an industry says it can't handle much more. Once the temperature dropped and these tables stopped filling up, Tavern on Rush in Chicago's Gold Coast took a 60% hit. Hits the restaurant group behind it, worries will keep coming. We can't take another hit. We're done. Stephen Hartenstein told me if Cook County is next in line for an indoor dining shutdown, for most, that will be it. They're putting an end to the restaurant industry by closing us up like this. Why restaurants? Why are we being picked on? Chicago city leaders just said Monday they believe COVID is being spread through gatherings in homes, not in public. But the bar and restaurant shutdowns statewide aren't the only thing Stephen says they're worried about. I can only earn a little bit of money because no one's going out to eat. Then I'm going to stay on unemployment. With so much uncertainty about the future of the industry, even in the next few weeks, he told me some restaurant workers are already choosing not to work. And people feel like, hey, I may as well stay home. I'm getting my money and I don't know what's going to happen. If my business is going to be there or isn't going to be there. As restaurant owners wait to see what's next, wait to see if more federal help is on the way in the form of the new relief package with 120 billion built in for independent bars and restaurants. We're told that could be the only thing that keeps a city known for its restaurant scene from losing them. And it's critical that we're, we get saved here. For CBS2, I'm Tara Molina.